Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shiman. This is In Plain Sight to Roll, and I am back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time around, this pick a card reading is going to be about um, channeled messages from your spirit team, from Source, basically. Okay, so we're going to be looking into that. Um, let's just get straight into the piles, you guys. I have uh, pre-picked three piles for uh, three piles of cards from different oracle decks and different um, and uh, a tarot deck. I forgot what the deck is called. What was it called? Um, tarot of the Divine. Yes. Okay. Tarot of the Divine. So um, I'm gonna keep that out. So. Yeah, just to save some time, <laughs> so I don't have to shuffle um, in my readings. So it's going to be a quick uh, reading, channeled messages from Source, okay? Channeled messages from Source to you, all right? Right, so pal number one, you guys have I, all right, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Pal number two, we have goldfish, right, um, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth, that's great, okay, pal number two, and then pal number three, we have candle, you will be shown the way, all right. So pal number one, I. Pal number two, goldfish. Pal number three, candle. Okay? So once you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps. And we can get straight into pal number one. Okay? So let's do this. You think you're loving much you don't love me. I want to be free. Maybe you've heard me. Alright, so Pile number one, you chose I. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. Okay, so basically your guides are saying you have been following your intuition. You are very psychic at this time, all right? Your third eye is very open. Um, you are very aware of the things that are happening around you. Maybe you've been receiving a lot of dreams about certain people in your life, even people from your past that you've completely let go of. You are getting dreams. Maybe these people have been popping up in your dreams again, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be just lovers, maybe friends that you have cut off from the past. Um, you're getting a lot of downloads about these people. <coughs> All right, so trust your intuition. I think your intuition is also telling you, because the song is called You Know I'm No Good, right? Um, there are some people who think that you are doing <laughs> something shysty or you're being a bit shady or some people who, who think that you, who assume that you are doing dark shit, okay? Um, because you have these psychic abilities. But pay them no fucking mind, all right? Let them fucking go, okay? And I think you have, but somehow spirit is, is just showing you in these dreams what you, it's like confirming your intuition about something or some people in your life, all right? Through these dreams that you've been having, okay? So you got education, Your children are watched over by angels. That is always gorgeous to get. Okay, and then we have um, Ten of Cups. 
We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Coins. That's gorgeous. Okay, this is a really good reading. Okay, I'm going to put this here. So it looks like you have been working hard on honing uh, on your intuitive abilities or you have been paying attention to the spiritual downloads that you've been getting. Like maybe you have been um, experiencing like weird spiritual um, occurrences or even your body has been reacting. Um, I'm hearing maybe, uh, what's that? What's that called again? What's it called? Um, what's that? Sleep paralysis. Yeah, something like sleep paralysis, like heaviness uh, during your sleep time. That is your guides actually trying to get you to fall into a lucid dream. You might be afraid of of these these. Uh, you know, you 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 have all this folklore and stories about spirit, um, sleep paralysis being demons, you know, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, I just saw light. Anyways, so uh, you think that they're demons, you think that they're... Maybe you've believed that sleep paralysis is caused by demons, caused by dark spirits, caused by this and that, but actually I'm hearing here, you know, you've, you are educated to know better than this, all right? Spirit is saying that you know better than this. Um, with education here, educate yourself. Do not just, you know, believe fully any and all superstitions that come to you, all right? These are called superstitions for a reason. Oh my God, yes. Okay, so with children, your children are, watching over, uh, are watched over by angels. Where do superstitions really come from, all right? What I believe is superstitions were created to scare children or to bribe or to scare children into <laughs> doing certain things, right? Um, so that's where superstition comes from. And when, when they snowball into a collective, how do I say this, mind hive, like when a group of people believe in the same thing, you know, of course it's going to manifest, right? Yeah, so educate yourself on these superstitions that you've been having since you were a child. Because you, it, it looks like you here, you've been protected since, ever since you were a child. Maybe you've had these um, experiences a lot since you were a child, but you couldn't really explain why you've had these sleep paralysis or whatever it is. And um, personally, I mean, for me, I've had a lot of sleep paralysis myself, okay? Um, I've had a lot of instances of sleep paralysis myself and I've allowed myself to not fear it every time it comes on and now you know if you just if you just oh my god I'm getting like flashes in my mind if you just um, not feel into it but ease into that sleep paralysis it brings you into a lucid dream it takes you astral traveling I think that's what your guides uh, have been trying to guide you towards okay so you maybe you are meant to educate others that sleep paralysis is nothing to be afraid of is basically you entering another dimension so basically you need to get past that fear of being paralyzed in your sleep you're not gonna die Maybe it feels like you're going to die. <laughs> it feels like you're going to die. Yes, it feels like you're going to die. The first time I had sleep, sleep, sleep paralysis, I was panicking, you know. I couldn't move, but I, could, I was aware of everything happening around me. And there was, it, it, it happened too much for me to call it a coincidence. Or it happened too many times for me to call it a coincidence. And I never really told too many people about it because, you know, if I told, you know, people who aren't, open to these things about it they would they would call me crazy and now I don't give a fuck you know so educate yourself all right do not just blindly believe in dumb superstitions that were created by adults be before us to to f put fear into children let's say oh if you don't go to sleep the boogeyman is going to come that's that's how that's how you create monsters under your bed and shit like that you 
put these things into to a child's mind, you know? So your guides are saying your children are watched over by angels, which means you are also meant to, you, your inner child, you know, I think deep within yourself also tells you like this does not have anything to do with demonic forces, all right? It's just a, a, a higher consciousness. It happens to people who are meant to tap into higher consciousness, okay? Yeah, and with the Ten of Wands here, it's like, you know, you, 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 I think it's burdening you, this, this fear of this, I don't know, whatever, you know, um, ascension symptoms that you've been having, I don't know whether your body has been reacting to it, whether, yeah, maybe you've been getting um, migraines, because I'm seeing that skull, you know, with the tree growing out of it, you know, so it's, it's almost like you, you're having like, you have a lot on your mind, you've had a lot on your mind, but educate yourself about these things, you know, you, you don't need to burden yourself with, you know, beliefs of demonic attacks, all right? Once you get past, I'm hearing like, once you get past the fear of these spiritual experiences, these spiritual um, unexplained experiences that you've been having, you are going to find a lot of fulfillment you're going to it's it's going to i'm hearing it's going to enrich your life in one way or another all right because you're using your psychic abilities you have something you have you have an awareness above certain others all right i'm not saying that you are above others because you're meant to educate others on this too right that's how that's how people evolve education right but you educate yourself right when it comes to these things don't just blindly fall into superstition okay Seven days in sunny June. Maybe something happened to you in June, right? When you dropped the bomb. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you experienced like spirit, these uh, sleep paralysis demons. Like maybe you call them sleep paralysis demons, but they're not actually demons. It's actually your guides showing you another side, right? And I, I for one, have realized this throughout my whole like 43 years of life, right? <laughs> I've had sleep paralysis since I was, I don't know, since I, I can remember 10 years old. Maybe you've had, you've had uh, sleep paralysis since, since you were young, since you were a kid. But you've always been watched over by your angels, especially when it comes to these things, you know, by source, right? So what are you, what is... What are those like limiting beliefs that are stuck in your subconscious mind that is putting fear into you so that you don't, you know, tap into that higher consciousness? I hope you get what I mean, you know? But once you do, oh my God, you guys, like, <sighs> Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles is going to bring you in fulfillment. Um, it's going to enrich your life in all areas of your life emotional fulfillment and also physical, tangible, uh, material fulfillment, right? Why'd you have to drop that bomb on me? So you, some of you might be asking like, why is this happening to me? Like what's happening to me? Or am I going crazy or something? You're not going crazy. If you tell yourself that you're going crazy, then you're going to go fucking crazy. All right, so, stop, stop affirming those, that, that shit for yourself. Okay, stop affirming, stop putting that in your subconscious mind. All right? I see the stories in your eyes, the stories that you tell yourself. <laughs> it's like your guides are saying, don't you walk away from me. Follow me into this lucid dream. I need to show you certain things, right? In your dreams, your dreams, okay? Once, do you realize what you can do? Once you can control 
what happens in your dreams what once you realize that you're dreaming do you understand what happens you are manifesting whatever it is that you are dreaming you you can you can experience things that before you experience them physically but you're already experiencing them physically on that astral plane because it feels so fucking real all right it's a different kind of feeling you know you're in two dimensions at once so educate yourself about these things don't just fall into the trap of people you know listening to people oh you're being you're being haunted by uh, some sleep paralysis demon or Baba Yaga or some uh, your people are doing black magic on you that, that's always another one you know oh sleep paralysis means someone is sending you black magic and they're sending you their demons and shit like that tell yourself fuck that okay you're getting these spiritual um, what do you call it experiences because you're meant to all right What's that thing? You are the operant power of your reality. You take control of what you believe in. You do not allow others to tell you what to fucking believe, okay? Your mind, your body, your soul belongs to you. Whatever downloads that you get belongs to you, okay? Don't let anyone else tell you, oh, you have this, or this, there's something wrong with you. There's this, uh, don't, all right? You have source, you have your own connection to source. Why don't you connect to source? Rather than listening to, I'm sorry to say it like this, but N fucking NPCs, people who know nothing, people who fear spiritual awakenings, people who fear the unknown. Okay? I don't know why I have to talk so passionately. I think it's, it's, it's it, the, <laughs> the energy, like your, your, your guides and source and your spirit team is like, tell them, <laughs> drop that bomb on them, you know? Okay? So, yeah, I'm sorry if I, if I come off a little bit harsh, but, you know, I'm just channeling. It's channeled messages, okay? So, yeah. It could be a significant number. Ten of Wands. Let's see. Mm -mm, ten of Wands. There's some countries associated with these particular cards, so I've been guided to look them up. Paraguay. Okay, the Ten of Wands represents taking too much and refusing to accept help. When Sagwa's daughter went missing, he searched alone in vain. So you, you, you might have you know, refuse to, it's not refuse to accept help, what I'm hearing is like refuse, you are meant to refuse to listen to other people. And you know, you have your own connection. You have your own connection to God, all right? You have your own connection to source. If you don't have your own connection to source, you wouldn't be alive. You will be speaking, you will be smelling, you will be seeing through your own eyes, you will be hearing, okay? I think also in your dreams, for some reason, because I'm seeing I here, in, in your dreams, um, it's showing you where you are overwhelmed. It's showing you, you where, who, who is stressing you out, people who are trying to stress you out. It's showing you the obligations that you've taken upon yourself where you do not need to take these, you, you're, you're not obligated to, to take on more burden and stress than you are capable of. You're not, because that's you making yourself sick, all right? If you're making yourself sick, you don't love yourself, okay? I don't care what you say. I don't care if people say like, oh my God, that's so narcissistic. Or I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. You need to take care of your health first before you can take care of 
of others. I am a mother, I know. If I don't take care of myself first, how the fuck am I supposed to take care of my daughter? How the fuck am I supposed to take care of anything else outside of me if I don't take care of myself first? I come first, always. Okay, you have to affirm that to yourself. All right? And coming first doesn't mean you're selfish or whatever. You're, you're, you're giving love to yourself. You're connecting to spirit. You're taking the time out. You're just taking the time out to rest. If anyone fucks you up because you need to rest or tells you that you're selfish because you need to rest, tell them to piss the fuck off, okay? It's one four four. Yeah, you could be you could be like one of the, you know. I, I don't really like calling you guys light workers anymore. You know, you're you could be one of the one four four people who are meant to be here to raise the vibration of the planet. I don't care how you raise the vibration of the planet. Doesn't mean that you're always in light all the time. When you are trying to raise the vibration of the planet, you are in between middle. You're in between the light and the dark, because you're meant to bring the light into the dark, or you're meant to to shine light. On the dark so that it's not fearful anymore okay people live in so much fear of the unknown to the point where they go crazy where they they they, they start making all these assumptions and these assumptions assumptions become true if you if you if you keep you know <laughs> um, affirming these things to your subconscious mind that's what's going to show up in your reality okay yeah avoid burnout basically your spirit is saying avoid burnout so connect to spirit if you need to you know rest allow spirit to guide you through your, your your dreams so if you do get sleep paralysis it means you're you're having an outer body experience it means spirit has taken your soul out of your body so that they can bring you somewhere to show you something all right it's not some fucking sleep paralysis demon okay unless you believe it is once you get past that you're gonna find <sighs> there is a fucking magical world out there for you that was unopen to your eyes because you were fearing it okay I'm also hearing some of you could be mediums. Some of you could could have um, you know a connection to the, the the dead. Basically, you can speak to the souls of the dead, the souls of people who are earthbound to to this earth. You know, those who cannot move over to the other side. And when I say other side, I don't mean other side. There's heaven. No, I mean other side coming into another another life, starting a new life into your next life you know if you if you are stuck in limbo let's just say if you're stuck in limbo, if a soul is stuck in limbo they cannot move on to their next life their next life is supposed to give them much more you know but a lot of souls here are stuck in limbo that's why a lot of souls here are angry and that's what people call demons or you know bad spirits or whatever no they're not bad spirits they're spirits who are stuck if you as a human, you being stuck, how do you feel? Frustrated, of course you're frustrated, right? So maybe you're, you're, you're seeing all these, uh, <laughs> or maybe you're feeling frustrated spirits around you, right? Spirit is asking you to educate yourself, okay? Before you start believing in nonsense, right? Whatever it is, you, your inner child, your innocence is being watched over by angels. So if you dive into this with the intention of knowledge, I want to know, all right? Spirit will show you, okay? All right, so pal number one, that is the end of your reading. I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye. Number two, so you guys chose goldfish, alright?
Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So what are the channeled messages from source for you at this time? All right. So you are coming into a time where you are very, very abundant. And it's not just um, in material wealth. It's also in spiritual growth, which is like the full shebang, you know. <laughs> um, some of you could be Pisces here. Okay, with the fish here, I'm seeing Pisces. Um, goldfish. Maybe you've been seeing uh, goldfish in your dreams. All right. Um, maybe you've seen you've been seeing goldfish. Uh, goldfish could be a sign for you, all right? Goldfish um, could be your animal totem at this time, okay? So pay attention to when you start seeing signs of goldfish around you, all right? It means that your material wealth is increasing and also you're, you're, you're growing spiritually, all right? Okay, so this song is called Carnival by the Cardigans. Okay, so you're, you're going to be celebrating something. Maybe you're going to some festival or carnival soon, or maybe you just came back from a festival, carnival, concert, or something you just went to, or you're going to one, all right? Um, yeah. <laughs> So we have dry desert, sense of humor, we have the four of swords, we have judgment, and we have the seven of wands. All right, so spirit or source is asking you to have, I know it's, I don't know how, <laughs> how easy this is going to be for you or how hard it is going to be for you, but um, they're asking you, I'm hearing they're asking you to have a sense of humor about what's going on in your life right now. Maybe you feel like you're being judged. Maybe you feel like you've been, you, you have been, you're being judged by spirit or something um, because you've been going through this dry spell. I'm hearing with dry desert here and you, it's almost, but with dry desert, I'm not seeing a dry spell. It's almost like it's, 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 you're clearing space. Like there's a, I'm seeing like a clearing, you know, and with the four swords here, I think you've been doing a lot of meditating. Um, you've been trying to, you know, regulate your emotions, regulate your thoughts, regulate your, your I'm hearing ups and downs, okay? You don't owe nothing to me, but to walk away, I have no capacity. Okay, so I know this is hard for you. Maybe it's, it's, it's hard for you to hear at this time, but Spirit is saying you're going to laugh about this. Whatever it is that you're going to, through at this time where you feel judged by the universe, you felt like you've had to keep a lot of people out of your life. You feel you felt like with the seven of wands here, you felt like you had to, you know, push everything, a lot of people out of your life. You've been actually clearing, okay? You've been actually clearing a lot so that this material wealth and spirit, you and and through all of this clearing, you've been going through your own spiritual growth. Now fuck myself in the way, stupid man. All right, so yeah, I should just be my own best friend, not fuck myself in the head with stupid men. All right, so some of you are stupid men, stupid women, doesn't matter. All right, <laughs> you're going to find the sense of humor. Okay, you are being asked to have a sense of humor when it comes to your life. Um, I recently saw this one uh, quote. I don't know if it was really by Rumi, but it was like, 
rather than be depressed about your situation, you know, make fun of it. Make fun of your situation. Make fun of whatever is happening to you at the moment. You make fun of it before other people make fun of you. Maybe you you have been maybe you have been using humor to cover up your 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 I guess this feeling of unfulfillment. I think you feel it you've been feeling unfulfilled, right? It's either that you 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 either have only spiritual growth or material wealth. You don't have both at the moment, and you think that you don't have both, but you are coming into a time where you have both, you know, material wealth and spiritual growth. It doesn't mean that you're spiritual, you have to be in poverty, right? <laughs> or you have to be you have to be lacking. No, it doesn't mean that. All right? In fact, the more you grow spiritually, in fact, you you're supposed to feel more abundant and a lot of stuff I'm hearing stuff is going to be replaced with the old stuff all right this also pertains to people people in the past who weren't doing you any good basically with all the, with the seven of wands here you've basically had to knock these people out of your life like literally kick them out you know <laughs> you know like get the fuck out of my life you know you think that you've been judged by the universe but no you were guided to do this so that you could come into this increase of material wealth and spiritual growth. Some people are not, are, are not meant to come with you on your path to fulfillment. This is for you, all right? This is what you've worked hard for, I'm hearing. This is what you have, you know, put your blood, sweat and tears into, all right? And you're not meant to bring certain people who don't deserve these things because they didn't put the work in, right? But they want to ride on your coattails, I'm hearing. Okay? Maybe you've had, um, Spirit is saying, they know that you've probably had like bad luck in love, but no, it's not, it's, just not the right people for you you have been attaching yourself to the people who are not right for you who do not align with you but you've been trying to blend in with the people who don't align with you that's why you don't feel fulfilled that's why you always feel something missing you're meant to be in your own energy I'm hearing like be in your own energy and have people attract people who are aligned with you do you know what I mean? laughed at by the gods you think that the you think that spirit or people are laughing at you or you feel like you're being made a joke out of you know you're 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 like I don't I'm also hearing that song like um, how, how does that song go I started a joke and laughing. You, you started a joke you had the whole world laughing and now the jokes on you you know you you felt I don't know whether there's something that you have to get over shame. There's something about shame that you need to get over, all right? Shame in, in I don't know, failure of certain things, okay? In your past, I don't know whether you've had failure in your businesses, in finances, failure in love, failure in marriage, failure in this and that. These failures were meant to teach you that this is not what you want. These things were not what you want not what you want deep 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 down and now like with dry desert here i'm seeing like you've cleared the space and now you're asking yourself what do i want you know what do i really want and now you're you are in the space where you are you have full autonomy over what you decide what you want in your life what you decide the the people that you decide to have in your life 
the kind of energies that you decide to have in your life, the experience that you decide to have in uh, the experiences that you decide to have in your life, you decide. Okay, that's what spirit is saying. You get to decide, and you're going to be able to look back at this and make fun of all the people who used to make fun of you. All right, with a sense of humor here, you can bring humor into all of your past bullshit, and this is what's going to irk. This is what's going to to irritate the people who made fun of you that's what i'm hearing okay i showed you the answers now here's the fucking door okay yeah so 31 could be a significant number four could be a significant number i'm hearing thir um 13. Do you see this? She's looking into the distance and she's seeing like this cactus. What is cactus? Cactus are, you know, cactus are prickly things. You know, I'm not saying the, the cactus um, plant is a bad plant. It's, of course, it's a good plant, you know. It's, 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 it, every plant is a good plant, right? But these people were... They had prickly energy, you know, the energy that you did not want to be around, but you forced yourself to be around these people. It's, it's almost like you, I'm, I'm getting a sense of someone who felt like they had no choice. These are the only friends I have. This is the only life I have. This is the only um, choices that I have. No, those are not the only choices that you have. You have much more choices. You have a lot more to achieve than what you have right now. A lot more okay and it's not based on what other people want of you to achieve this is what other people expect you to achieve no okay I want to be free baby you heard me you want to be free you want to be free of all these people who are making fun of you right you want to be free of their their you know the the voices their voices um maybe something has happened something happened to you in the past where you were bullied or something right that is the past okay the past does not exist anymore the future also does not exist what you have right now is here in the present you listening to me right now Every moment that you are aware of, that is the only moment that you have, okay? If you're constantly worried about the future, you're going to have anxiety. If you are constantly worried about the people in your past laughing at you or making fun of you or, you know, uh, saying that you've gone mad or something or, or I don't know what it, what, what it is that, that, that people have, you know, fed you the bullshit that people have fed you spirit is saying keep it out again you know that i'm no good like like so fucking what if people think that you're no good what do you think of yourself you know thinking of you is when my thoughts are ghosts Run out to me, you chips and pillar you say when we marry cause you're not bitter Okay, so this song is actually about cheating. Maybe you have cheated in the past or maybe you've been cheated on in the past, okay? You cannot hold that above yourself. You cannot sit in the guilt of, you know, being the cheater or feeling victimized because you were cheated on you cannot sit there you cannot wallow in that all right get past that spirit is saying to you to get past that to 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 allow yourself to look at that and just look at it with a sense of humor you know rather than be depressed about what the fuck people are seeing about you. 
Some of you might be from Spain, some of you might be around, from Jamaica, you know, some of you might have like the, uh, I don't know, maybe you are, you know, you're from a diff different culture, but you're attracted to another culture, you know, and then some people are saying like, oh, you're a traitor or you're, you're, you know, you're, you're not, what would you say? Uh, not a traitor, but like, you're not, You've forgotten your roots yes that's the, the word like people will say that you've forgotten your roots or you've forgotten yourself or who the fuck cares nobody fucking cares okay you can tell yourself i don't fucking care i don't fucking care i don't fucking care i don't 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 care every time you see or you hear people say these things in your mind maybe you have that inner voice you have these voices telling you like oh this person is going to see that about you or this person is going to see that about you or just tell these these things I don't care go away I don't care 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 I don't fucking care <laughs> all right just say that okay keep doing that until you've cleared it out you've cleared these people out because spirit is trying to bring you something truly magical here with spiritual growth and material wealth is not just either or you're getting both all right okay so the signs i'm seeing is air signs um gemini libra aquarius we have judgment which is capricorn and sagittarius to me and also um yeah aries leo sagittarius we also have goldfish here which is uh um i was saying pisces just now um what else keep holding me down and i'll be keeping it cool tonight for a little while i was looking my hair dirty and sweat i think that's all um I don't know why I just heard someone here is a hopeless romantic and you are I love you. yeah you are you're a hopeless romantic and you are hearing or you're hearing voices in your mind where people might be making fun of you because you're a hopeless romantic fuck them okay romanticize your life and fuck others who don't know how to romanticize their lives. They are the ones who are stuck in depression. They are the ones who are attached to everything else. They are the ones who are going to become NPCs and followers and, oh my God, I want to become part of this. I want to become part of that. You, you start your own movement, okay? Full autonomy over yourself, your mind, body, and soul. Full fucking autonomy, all right? That's what spirit is saying. That's your 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 guides, your angels. That's what they're telling you. All right. So pal number two, I'm gonna end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you got every single thing you guys i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video bye hi pal number three so you guys chose candle okay so it says here you you will be shown the way all right you'll be shown the way so that is a gorgeous message to be getting from source you will always be shown the way you can affirm that to yourself i am always being shown the way to your manifestations maybe this is about manifestation because i'm seeing with candle here maybe you've been you know um doing visualizing techniques um maybe you've been in your imagination a lot um using your imagination to um manifest okay i'm hearing this is something about manifestation um someone here could have been doing a lot more candle gazing all right and um i'm hearing that 
maybe you, you're, you're drawn to another pal or you've been watching all three pals, okay? You, you're meant to be following your passion, okay? Whatever lights you up, whatever ignites you, whatever makes you feel driven, you know? I'm hearing someone here like is, you know, working on their sexual energy, you know, taming, taming your fire so that you, taming your fire so that you don't burn, I'm hearing, okay, so that you don't burn. It's almost like you're, you're cooking, right? If you're, you're, you're making soup, okay, or you're, you're frying something or you're cooking something, you don't want the fire to be too high up because you don't want to burn your shit, right? <laughs> okay, so you're trying to moderate your fire. I think you're moderating your sexual energy, you're mod moderating, Some, someone here is also, I'm hearing maybe you're, you've recently went through a kundalini awakening, or yeah, maybe you've, uh, an ascension symptoms, like you, you've, you've been experiencing a lot of like hot flashes, or you've been feeling, feeling hot, uh, um, <laughs> not hot, like, uh, you know, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe you've been feeling hot, like going through a glow up. You're going through a glow up through this ascension process. You are going through a glow up. That's why maybe you've been sweating out a lot, or you heart palpitations. I mean, heart palpitations. It's your body receiving energy. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, you will be shown the way. Okay. Your intuition is guiding you so correctly. So, I, like I said, I think you might be drawn to pile number one, right? You need to listen to your intuition, okay? And I think you have been doing that. If you've been doing, using your imagination, okay, um, correctly. Yeah, you know, you try not to blow up. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you might have been, you know, trying to temper your anger, trying to temper your your passion. You know, so sometimes when when passion gets too much, bubbles over or simmers over, bubbles over, it starts to become anger. Okay, you've been tr trying to. I think spirit, or uh, yeah, spirit is trying to get you to temper your passion, your fire. Okay, some of you might be fire signs or you might have strong fire in your chart. You don't necessarily have to be fire sun. <coughs> That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Drinking wine and killing time, sending some sun. You know, I wanted you so long. But you have to drop that bomb on me. I don't know if you uh, are feeling rejected. Um by someone that you uh, you've wanted for so long but you've been trying to temper that like you've been trying to tell yourself it's okay <laughs> it's cool you know something better is coming through rather than you know feeding your anger or or what's that submitting to your anger or it's not submitting succumbing to your anger yeah okay so um we have come together okay so we have come together <coughs> <coughs> no. okay so god is in charge that is god literally telling you i'm in charge right and don't get it twisted god is not some sky daddy who's sitting up in the sky looking at you and telling saying oh this happens to you this doesn't happen to you i'm gonna give you this karma no fuck that that's not the kind of god that i'm talking about god is in charge you 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 the spirit within you is in charge all right okay don't walk away from me girl i read the stories in your eyes don't you walk yeah, some someone here has been feeling 
Maybe someone feels rejected by you. Maybe you just recently walked away from someone and they're kind of like pissed and you're feeling you're feeling the heat of this <laughs> this person's anger because you rejected them, you know? Maybe you've wanted this person for a long time and all of a sudden like, you know, because God you, you know, you you finally know what you want. You don't want this anymore. It's like you're saying, I don't want this anymore. I keep telling you that I don't want this anymore. I am not going to succumb to this. I am not going to bow down to your bullshit anymore. That's what I'm hearing because what I'm seeing here is with two of swords, I'm hearing, I don't fucking care. Um, we have the Empress. Again, I'm hearing, I care about me. <laughs> okay. I am in the... Standing next to me, standing next to me. And we have the Knight of Swords, okay? So, <laughs> um, what I'm hearing is within, you know, you're, you're, I think whoever this is that you're dealing with, because with come together here, I think you're dealing with a relationship here, all right? And um, this relationship. You've wanted it to come together for a while, but it wasn't happening the way you wanted it to happen. Um, and maybe you were angry about it for a while, but I don't know, by some turn of event or maybe you jumped dimensions or you switched dimensions or something like that, okay? you all of a sudden you don't care all of a sudden you you're like maybe i don't want this anymore maybe there's there's something more that i want maybe maybe it's some maybe i want something else you know maybe i deserve something else with empress here maybe yeah i deserve better okay two 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 right now okay so you might be seeing that number a lot you took your love away with you I think you've been giving a lot you're giving you've been giving a lot of passion a lot of your love a lot of your 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 spirit to someone else okay you've been funneling that a lot to someone else so that you can come together but you are going to come together it might it might not just be with this certain person okay it might be with someone completely new and better okay yeah someone better someone better for you and with god is in charge here i think <coughs> i'm talking god god is within you you know you are in charge now you are in charge you're not allowing your <laughs> I mean impulsivity you're, you're not being impulsive anymore when it comes to this particular person okay all right so what I'm seeing here is you're now literally turning your back against who whoever this is or spirit made you or it's not made you it's like it's like the energy there's something about you the energy just, just switched up on you you know it's like you woke up and be like, you're, you're like hmm I find myself not thinking about this person anymore. I find myself not looking this person up anymore. I find myself not wondering about what what this person is doing. Um, and whoever it is on the receiving end, because we've come together here, they're going to feel that. They're going to feel that you are, maybe, <laughs> I'm hearing that you are running now. You're like, oh shit, this is not what I want. It's like you, you, you opened your eyes and you awakened to like, Fuck, is this really what I want? No, I don't, I don't want this. Now you're running away. So once you pull away, this person is going to come, maybe want, maybe this person does want to come together. And maybe this is 
when your manifestation is going to show up and this is when you you are in charge you get to decide whether you want it or not okay you as the empress because you're attracting now you're you are in the receiving mode and i said you are glowing up with the empress here you have everything you need okay don't think that you're lacking right now i keep seeing that number 225 255 I keep seeing the, the those combinations of number two two five two five five. There's something about you not showing your your cards anymore because I'm seeing this woman here is her eyes are closed. This woman here is her eyes are closed too. You know, you're finally like you're turning a blind eye to something. That's what I'm hearing. Or you're being guided to. You're being guided to turn a blind eye towards something and go towards another direction. Okay, and you will be shown the way. You will be shown the way. Okay, so you don't have anything to be afraid of. So, so get rid of this attachment, all right? Because whatever this attachment is, that's what's holding you back, okay? And if you're telling me like, oh no, I'm not attached to him anymore, or this and that, and, and this person keeps showing up in your energy, keeps showing up in your, your pick a card readings, if they keep showing up, it means that you are still attached. It doesn't matter whether you say that you've let go or not. You have to truly let go. Truly letting go means literally telling yourself this does not exist. This reality does not fucking exist to me anymore. It doesn't exist. Which means you do not look this person up. You don't think of this person. You take control of your thoughts. You do not allow your thoughts to just, you know, with air here. Yeah, you don't allow your thoughts to just like run away with you. Or I'm seeing like someone being dragged with, by this running horse, you know, like by this, this galloping horse and you're, you're like attached to this galloping horse, right? And you're being literally dragged <laughs> by this horse. Okay, let go. All right? I can't break free. I want you to, I want you to be. I can't break free. So spirit wants you to be. Be, be in your own energy and not be attached to others. This ain't love, okay? You will be shown the way, which means all of a sudden you're going to wake up and be like, I don't want this anymore. Like, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore, you know? If you want something and it hurts you, by wanting it that's not what you want okay that's you trying to prove yourself something like i don't know what you're trying to prove to someone to 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 other people to this and that no you're you're meant to only prove to yourself what you are capable of okay what is your intention with being with someone you, you have to truly ask yourself that, right? Is your intention of getting with someone because you want to make other people jealous or uh, getting with someone because they are, you know, they're giving you money or they're, they're... What is your intention? What is your intention? Your soul wants to experience certain things, but... If your mind is saying like, oh, I want to get with this person because he's rich or I want to get with, with this person because I want to make my, pa my, my ex jealous or I want to get with this person because um, of whatever fucking reason, like, like petty reason, right? You have to ask yourself, like, what is it that you truly want? Because those, are not what you, those things are not truly what you want. Because you're going to realize that once you do get those things, like once you do make your let's just say you're trying to make your ex jealous and you're if you do if you do get with that person and then your ex doesn't get jealous right all of a sudden you see your, your ex is not really paying attention to you you're still not going to be fulfilled even though you have already got that person 
Do you understand what I mean? It's something like that's that's just a, a, a this ain't love. You know, that's just a a a, an example okay I'm not seeing that all of you are trying to get back at your exes by getting with someone else no but if you are then you would know yourself okay you would know yourself I'm just reading the cards and I'm just reading your energy okay I'm not judging you for for wanting what you want because of what you want because of reasons of why <laughs> I'm getting mixed up with the reasons I'm not judging you for the reasons of why you want what you want okay but you have to ask yourself is this what your soul truly wants or is it what your ego wants okay so when you're 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 if you are truly following spirit in your soul and what gives you passion and it doesn't hurt you it doesn't burn you okay Yeah, if you, where was I? Okay, so this is what ADHD does to you. <laughs> okay, so um, um, the Empress, you, you need to know what you want for yourself, for you, to impress you, okay, you. And don't give a fuck if people are saying this is narcissistic. It's not narcissistic if you are taking care of yourself. It's not, all right? Fuck what other people are saying, okay? It doesn't matter if people are saying, oh, she doesn't care anymore, she's a sociopath, she's a narcissist, she's a this. I don't care, okay? I don't care what people are saying about you. Just let it go, let it go. Because if you can't let that go, it means that you are allowing these people to take control of your mind, of your wants, of your needs, okay? What do you want, okay? That's like a running, running message throughout this whole reading. Yeah, okay? So that's what Spirit is saying. Run away with the Knight of Swords here. Take action on only the things that bring you that they give you drive that, that feel that feel good to you you know you're not supposed to be hurting in love right you're supposed to feel good you're supposed to feel good you're supposed to feel at peace you're supposed you're you're supposed to feel balanced you're supposed to feel chill moderate you know, you're supposed to feel mentally healthy. When you give to yourself, you're going to notice that other people, the energy is just going to shift. When you give to yourself, the universe tell you're, you're telling the universe, I am worth it. Because I'm giving it to myself, I am worth it. And then the universe will bring in God, a source, spirit, whatever it is that you want to call it, which is in turn you, yourself too, right? You're going to bring in the right person, and that's when you come together, okay? Eight could be a significant number, which means uh, also I'm hearing Leo, okay? Leo, Leo season, or someone who has Leo placements, okay? Yeah, fire. We have. Even though this is an air sign card, I'm seeing a lot of fire here. Do you see all this fire around? See all this fire around this woman here? Okay. So don't allow your anger to overwhelm you, I'm hearing. Sometimes you might be attracted to someone who has suppressed anger, and you being the loving empath you are, you're absorbing all of that anger and then all of a sudden you're noticing that you're the one who's angry, you're the one who's, you know, transmuting that anger and stuff. But even if you do decide to transmute this person's anger, you're taking it for you. That energy is for you, all right? You are transmuting, not the other person. You're the one who's transmuting, right? You're the one who's feeling it, okay? you're the one receiving. So what do you want to receive? Do you want to receive this person's anger? Do you want to receive someone who is just unawakened? Do you want to receive their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions? Do you want to receive all 
the, 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 the thoughts and feelings of emotions of the people that they've, they've been sleeping with because we're talking about Kundalini sexual energy here, okay? You don't want that. So you are going to be attracting in Don't fuck yourself in the head with stupid men and women, all right? Okay? So, yeah, the signs I'm seeing is strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I was seeing Leo, also, um, what's that? Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, Taurus, and Libra, okay? So those are the signs that I'm seeing at the moment. Um, I'm going to end the reading there. Pile number three, thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. Those are your channel messages from Spirit. Uh, if that reading resonated with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing you guys. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.